that regard, rather than concentrating on the who said what to who, we need to concentrate on the specifics to make sure this never happens again. I understand there was meant to be a meeting of justice spokespersons this morning to discuss how the terms of reference of the tribunal would be framed. I believe that has been postponed. Could I ask you, what is your timeline in terms of us agreeing on the, on the, uh, the, uh, the uh, terms of reference? I know you said there that the Minister of Justice, the Tonished, uh, is looking at the issue of whether other whistleblowers should be uh, included or not. Can I have your opinion on whether it should be widened out to include other, include other Garda whistleblowers who, who are alleged to suffer the same sort of smear campaign? Can I ask you, do you believe that this should be a fully transparent tribunal? We've all agreed that what Maurice McCabe said is true, that we shouldn't go back to the Higgins version where it's done in private and in an adversarial way. Can we make it fully transparent? Can we broadcast it on the web or television or whatever means? And if we do, how do we manage the protection of journalistic sources? Because at the heart of this story, we're going to have to get to an understanding as who contacted who between the guards, the journalistic profession and members of this house. Deputy McGuinness inferred last night that everyone knew, the dogs in the street knew. I'm sorry, that's not the case. So to come to the truth of that in terms of who knew and who was telling what, that's one thing we do need to get, because this is at the cornerstone was a smear campaign. We need to work out who contacted who to actually make that smear campaign. Now, Deputy Wallace in his, present, in his questioning yesterday read out, I don't know where he got the sources from, that such and such a guard texted someone else and someone else emailed someone else. It's that level of a forensic inquiry is what we're going to need. If it's going to be transparent, as I believe it should, Taoiseach, how do we agree the terms of reference that allows that so that all our correspondence, all our mobile phone records, all our email records are accessible? And that for the journalistic profession is as much an issue as it is for these people here. So what is the timeline? I'm slightly concerned, Tisha, that this may be difficult to do it this week. Part of the problem here is we've constantly rushing through stuff, not thinking through, not working out properly. Can we do it in a week, in this week? And what is your rough timeline for how the tribunal itself will take?